Hey guys, Ian Mason with Hoboasting Brick. Let's talk real quick about domain privacy. This isn't something that you really need, um, and I've heard conflicting opinions about whether or not it affects your Google rankings. But uh, in my experience, it doesn't. And I have a lot of high-ranking sites that use domain privacy just because, you know, I, I haven't set up any kind of fake identity stuff, and I don't want to put my real home address on there and everything. So I use domain privacy myself, and it only costs like less than ten bucks a year. So um, it's it's not bad. But anyway, you don't have to. Um, a lot of big businesses don't use domain privacy. But I'm just a small time guy, and I'm not incorporated or anything, so I, I use it myself. Anyway, uh, let's uh, show an example of it. You're going to go to domaintools.com and use their Whois. Uh, let's see, web hosting jam. That's a new web hosting site I'm working on a little bit. I don't know whether it's going to work out. I'm thinking about <laughs> trying to include music with it somehow because I, you know, thought it'd be a fun thing to do. Anyway. If you look here in registrant, contact, administrative, technical, normally if you don't have domain privacy, those would show, for example, me, it show Ian Mason and then my home address and my phone number if I filled that in. And you are supposed to put the correct information in as required by ICANN, I-C-A-N-N, -N, the, uh, the international domain, uh, they basically are in control of how all this stuff works with domains. They, they're they the committee for that. Um, so you're supposed to have accurate information there. Nobody's going to necessarily do anything immediately to you or cancel your registration if you don't, but I just recommend that you keep it accurate or use domain privacy. So as you can see, that says who is Privacy Protection Service uh, and gives the name of the company, not my own uh, it gives the name of the registrar, the registrar that I use. In this case, with this domain, it's Enom. So if you called this number, it would be uh, Enom who would answer the phone. So it completely protects me, you know. So that's the that's the benefit of domain privacy. Uh, now, if you're wondering how to get into your account and do that, then uh, let's check that out. All right, you're gonna go down to Domain Central, and scroll down, and got a couple in here. Let's see, you know, okay, privacy. You would just click Buy Now, basically. And I'm not gonna go in and <laughs> tell you how to do buy buying stuff or whatever. I, I guess that's that's pretty much it. So, um, not really much more to say there. It's it's as simple as that. Just set up domain privacy for that domain. Anyway, uh, let me know if you got any questions, more questions about domain privacy, domain registration, or even just setting up your site or um, trying to make more money from it, etc. I've been making money online for six years now, um, and never had a real job. So this is this is all I do. This is my thing. And I'm starting to get more involved with the community and and everything, because mostly because of Facebook. It's just a really cool platform for meeting people who are in the industry and new people who are trying to, you know, get more out of their their life by you know having more time because they work online, et cetera. Um, so anyway, I digress. Just just uh, hit me up if you need anything, got any questions. I'll make some more videos based on questions. I love interacting with you guys, and uh, thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day. Peace.